Hey guys, welcome back. The last topic we will discuss in this module is method reference. Method references are closely related to lambda expressions. So this is a good moment to learn about them. Let's start right away with another example. Suppose that we want to print each employee in the list of employees. We can call for each on the list of employees with a lambda expression that simply calls system.out.println on each employee. When we are calling the for each method, we are giving it a method that it should execute on each of the elements in the list. The method that we are giving here is an anonymous method in the form of a lambda expression. But this method is really just an extra unnecessary layer. The lambda expression here does nothing but call an existing method. So here we can get rid of this extra method call if we could tell for each that it should call system.out.println directly. That is possible if we use the method reference. We can replace the lambda expression in this method by a method reference to the println method of the system.out object which looks like this. So remember when a lambda expression does nothing but call an existing method, we can replace that lambda expression with a method reference. A method reference is just like a pointer to a method. Just like lambda expression, a method reference implements a functional interface and that is useful in situations like this example where you have an existing method that you can use and of course just as with lambda expressions the method that the method reference points to must match with the method defined by the functional interface the functional interface that for each takes is interface consumer which defines an accept method that takes one parameter and has return type void. The println method in the system.out object is defined in the class print stream and it takes one parameter and has the type void. So it matches the accept method of the interface consumer. The syntax of method differences uses the double colon notation. After the double colon is the name of the method that we want to refer to, which is println in this example. A method reference can either refer to a static method, an instance method, or a constructor. And what you should write before the double colon depends on which of those types of method you want to refer to. Here is the list with an overview of four types. For a static method, the method reference consists of a class name, double colon, and the name of the method. For instance methods, there are two types. A method reference to an instance method of a specific object has a reference to the object before the double colon and the name of the method after the double colon. A method reference to an instance method, which is not for one specific object, has the class name before the double colon. When such a method reference is used to replace a lambda expression, the method will be called on what would be the first parameter of the lambda expression. And finally, a method reference to the constructor has the class name before the double colon and the keyword new after the double colon. Now let's take a look at an example of each of the different types of method reference. First, let's look at the method reference for a static method. Let's add a static method is overpaid to our example class that takes an employee and returns true when the employee's salary is more than certain salary. Collections have a remove if method which takes a predicate which is one of the standard functional interfaces that you will learn about in the next module. The is overpaid method that we have just created matches the interface predicate so we can pass it to the remove if method with a method reference. For a method reference to a static method, we put the name of the class that contains the method before the double colon. Next we have method reference that refers to instance methods. There are two types of method reference that refer to instance methods. We have already used one of them. The method reference to system.out.println refers to the println method of a particular print stream object which is the print stream object that the variable system.out refers to. In this case what's before the double colon is a reference to a particular object. The other type of method reference to an instance method look like a method reference to a static method. So before the double colon is a class name and in this case there isn't a particular object that the method should be called upon. For this example we get a stream from the list of employees and then we can call a map on it. The map method transform elements of the stream. For each element it is going to call lambda expression that you supply to it. Suppose that here we want to extract just the name of the employees. We can write a lambda expression that calls the get name method on the employee. We will then finish this line with a call to for each. The whole line iterates over the list of employees, gets the name and prints them. Now we can replace the lambda expression that we pass to the map method by a method reference. Note that this method reference refers to the instance methods get name of class employee but it does not refer to any particular employee object. The map method is going to call on each of the employee objects in the stream. Finally method reference can refer to a constructor. One of the use cases of this is 
when you are using the factory design pattern. Let's add an interface employee factory with a create method that takes same parameters as the constructor of the class employee and that returns an employee object. We can now use a method reference to the constructor class of employee as the implementation of this interface. A method reference to a constructor has the name of the class before the double colon and the keyword new after the double colon. We can now of course call the create method on the factory which in this case will just call the constructor of class employee. So those are the four types of method references. To summarize then, when a lambda expression does nothing but call an existing method, we can replace that lambda expression with a method reference. The method that the method reference points to must match with the method defined by the functional interface. And here are the four types of method references. For a static method, the method reference consists of a class name, double colon and the name of the method. For instance methods, there are two types. A method reference to an instance method of a specific object has a reference to the object before the double colon and name of the method after the double colon. A method reference to an instance which is not for one specific object has the class name before the double colon and when such a method reference is used to replace lambda expression, the method will be called on what would be the first parameter of the lambda expression. Finally, a method reference to the constructor has the class name before the double colon and the keyword new after the double colon. So these are the important things that you need to remember about method references. Hope I cleared all the concepts of method references in this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.